Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the traveling salesperson problem or traveling salesman problem. So I will be um, first showing you guys what this problem actually is. And then I am going to uh, actually show you guys the implementation of the solution to this problem in Python. Okay, so this is going to be a great video, so let's jump right into it. So let's say that we have a salesman or yeah, our salesperson, and we have to go to these different houses, okay? So, so we have like 30 different houses that we have to go to today and um, uh, sell something. Now, these 30 different houses could be, uh, you know, far away from each other, they could be close to each other, but our goal is we want to get to these houses as quick and as efficient as possible. So we want to find a way to find the shortest path to go to all of these houses. Okay, so let's draw these houses as like circles. And in programming, we can call these circles as nodes. So for example, let's say, let's make a simple one to say five different nodes or five different houses. And we have to start somewhere. So let's say you start at this house. And we want to get to all the other houses and we have to find the shortest route. So basically this is a weighted graph. So all of these will have weights and these weights just to make it simple would be a uh, distance. And so this would actually be node one, this would be node two, three, four, and five. Um, and node two would be connected to node one, node three, node 4 and node 5. Node 3 would be connected to node 2, node 1. Wait, actually, sorry, this one's node 5. Um, node 3 and node 4, and then this would be connected to this. And then this also would be connected. So, okay, so we kind of have this, um, this, this graph, and we have all these different weights. And actually, each one of these has a distance. Okay, so I mean, so it's a lot of different distances that I'm going to put in. It's kind of getting comp complicated. So I'm actually going to um, erase all of this, and I'm just going to create a new graph with only three different nodes. So I just wanted to show you kind of how this this would look like. Okay, and um, the more nodes that you go up, as you'll see, the more many more distances and different paths. Made. So let's say we just have three different nodes. So we have this node, this node, and this node. Okay, and this would be one, two, and three. And we want to find the path. So one is connected to two and three. Three is connected to one and two. And two is connected to three and one. Kind of like this. So when I, when I put the numbers on the inside, it's talking about this line. If I put it on the outside, it's talking about this line. Okay, so um, let me actually pull up the graph that we're going to use. Okay, so pretty much um, from one to two, we have this distance of seven, and this is a, a bi-directional graph as the the distance between one and two that's like that lane that road would be different than the road from two to one so we have that and then from one to three we have three from two to one we have four and two to three we have three um from actually no we have seven here again from two from three to one we have also three and then from three to two we have eight okay so um yeah actually this is supposed to be a seven here okay so you can see it's all weighted and now we have to find the shortest path so you know we only have three different nodes here so it's kind of easy we can just eyeball it and kind of see so we can say that if we go from one to two um, we, we, we have a four, so we can just have four here. And from two to 
uh, two to three, it would be seven. And then to come back to one, it would be three. So um, if we get the sum, or sorry, no, no, this would be eight here. And then we add three. So we actually would get 15. So that would be the fastest route. So um, that's what our expected output in our program is going to be. Uh, one thing I want to say actually before we start the coding is the amount of paths that we have is the factorial of the amount of nodes that we have. So here we have three different nodes. So it would be three factorial which is three times two times one, which is six. So uh, you can see we actually have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now if we have like a bigger number, like five, then it'd be five times four times three times two times one. And um, this would be 20 times six, which is 120. So, that's with five and um as we get to a lot bigger numbers like we just we just moved up two and we're already uh 20 times bigger so as as we get bigger it's the paths are going to be longer so we want to try to find the quickest way to solve this so um now i think that's enough information let's actually jump into the code okay so i pretty much just have this python implementation of our a traveling salesman problem. And I just want to explain to you guys this line by line. So um, uh, basically I have this function called TSP, um, AKA traveling salesperson. And this takes two parameters, our graph and our starting point. So I've actually defined these right here. So our graph is just the graph that I just showed you um, on the whiteboard. And then our starting point is just the node that we start at. So um, this graph, each, so th this graph is just a list of lists, and each list is a node. All the elements inside the list are the different paths between the different nodes. So um, for example, this first node, this, this first element would be the distance between the first node and the first node, which is zero. And then the second element is the difference between, the distance between the first node and the second node which is set. And then this third element is the distance between the first node and the third node, which is three. Similarly, this for the second node, this first element is the distance between the second node and the first node, which is four. And then, uh, and then the second element would be the difference, be the distance between the second node and the second, node, which is zero because it's just itself. And then this third um, third element is the distance between the second node and then the third node, which is set. So this third node, um, uh, also similarly, this first element would be the distance between itself and the first node, which is three, and um, itself in the second node, which is eight, and then itself and itself, which is just zero. So that's, that's the graph for you, which I kind of just explained on the whiteboard. So just, just want to explain so you know what this graph is. And then our starting point would just start at this first. Okay, so we uh, put this into this uh, function. And um, our first line of code in this function is just defining our vertex. So um, we just have this, like, th this empty list. Um, and now we're going to add uh, all of our uh, vertices. So basically, as I kind of said earlier, uh, the, uh, the amount of nodes or the amount of paths um, is the amount of nodes, the length of the nodes, or, or yeah, the number of nodes factorial. Okay, so basically it's going through all of the nodes, all of the points, and it's seeing if the factorial of that, like that, um, uh, that, that node, is um equal to zero which is our start and then we're just appending that to i ah, so here we have three three different nodes so our vertices should be one and two 
Okay, so we should have two here. Um, you can see it's right here. And um, we have, I kind of give you a sneak peek at the output, so I won't just erase it for now. Um, and our, uh, yeah, and it, so for example, let's say that we had three, so I'm just gonna put three in here. It's gonna throw me in here, or sorry, four. It's gonna throw me in here, but I uh, just wanna show you that how, how it looked like. Oh, uh, we would have one, two, and three here. So um, now what we are doing is we're just uh, going, or actually first we have to just define our min path variable, which is just gonna be our max size now, just to have some defaults. And then we're going to, to uh, going through all these loops and we're gonna first set our cost to zero and um, like set our starting, which is going to be zero too. Um, and then we're going through all of the different uh, vertices. So we're basically looping through this twice. Right, um, and we're actually, we're going through all these nodes and we are adding the cost to this costs variable. Um, so that's what we're doing here. So basically we're, we're going to this first element and then we are getting that first element. And then as we loop through, we'll get the second and third because you know that, that's just uh, what the vertices are. And then we'll go through this next graph and then this next graph and we'll just get all the elements and we'll put them all our paths um, and things like that. And then we'll just find out if this is, if the min path is, uh, what's less, the min path or the cost, um, and it most likely the cost. And then we're going to, we're going to go through this check min function, which is just going to basically find if that's the minimum. If it is, it's going to return us false. So it's, that's why it's, that's why you say if not check min. So for example, like if I say if um, true here, then this would execute and it'd break. Um, so if we say if not false, um, then we would, um, then, then we'd also break. So basically we can just put our check min. Right, right, let me just go back. Okay. Um, and then we're just gonna break and then we're just gonna turn our min path because that's when we found our min path. So um that's pretty much our code for our function here. Um and then we just push this through the function and yeah, so that's that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so actually what we can do is Oh, actually, never mind. Okay, so th that's it. That's about it. Um, now let's actually run this and see what happens. So, um, if we run this, oh yeah, because I forgot to change this back. And if we run this, we should get fifteen. Okay, great. So we already found that, and I kind of explained to you why that was. So if you want a, a different explanation here, so it kind of looks a bit cleaner. Um, this first node, we are going to actually go to this uh, second one. Uh, so we have a, so if we want to go to the second one, it's worth seven. And then seven, we want to go to the third one. Um, or actually, that's a slower way. So let's go to the first, to the third, which is worth three. And then three to the second, which is worth, or actually, yeah, which is worth eight. So then we're at 11. And then 11, if we want to go to the first again, we have four. Okay, so let me, so first, we'd have to get first to the third, which would be worth three here. Um, and then, so let's, let's just say something here. So I don't know, let's have an asterisk. And then the third to the second, which is worth eight. And then the second, because we still have to go back to the first. So that would be four. Um, so yeah, so eight plus four plus three would be our Okay, so um, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys um, did and you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, so I know, and if you have any questions about the tutorial, you can put it down below in the comments, and I will try to respond to them as soon as possible. 
if you um, enjoyed this video and like to see more videos like this, like I probably am going to post a lot of new tutorials uh, like like this, then uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I release these new videos. And you're probably more likely to see them in your homepage. So, um, yeah, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, peace.